toys and how my dogs use them to teach a new puppy. In this video, you're gonna see examples of my dogs teaching a puppy how to respect their resources. And dogs don't do this to be mean necessarily, but they're schooling the puppy in appropriate behavior. So when the puppy gets older, it will know how to resolve conflicts like this with other dogs. Also, part of this is that this puppy is new to my house and my dogs tend to not share their resources with new dogs or puppies. It takes a while for the new dog or puppy to be initiated into the pack and then they will share their resources more with the puppies. Interestingly, I have found that depending on the dog or puppy and how unstable, anxious, or fearful that dog may be, depends on how soon they'll start sharing their resources with that dog or puppy. I had one puppy in that they had no problem sharing resources with right away, but usually it takes at least three days sometimes up to two weeks for that dog to kind of be welcomed into our group and resources starting to be shared. I'll do some more videos on this, but there's a lot of lessons we can learn as humans about how we welcome dogs into our house and if that is actually the natural way to do it for the dog and the best way. What my dogs have taught me is that dogs welcome other dogs into the pack, they're not aggressive towards them, but they're not going to give them the keys to the castle per se. They're going to teach that puppy or dog appropriate behavior in our house, which is calm, pro-social, polite behavior. And once that's established, then they're going to share more resources with that dog and allow them some more freedom. I'll be posting some videos showing this in the upcoming weeks, but we're gonna start with this one, showing this puppy being taught not to take other dog's resources. Hope you enjoy the lessons this puppy's learning. You can see in this video that my dogs are just showing a threat. They're not actually making any contact with this puppy. These actions show the puppy who is in charge of the resources and who ultimately is in charge of the household. I did have this toy. And Tipton literally picked up that toy and gave it to her and then walked over here and took this one. Let's see what he does with the puppy. Tipton is tolerating the puppy being close to him because she's not actually trying to take the toy right now. He moves a little bit further away to get some more space. But he's not actually making any kind of gestures towards her. Neither is he feeling sorry for her and giving her the toy. She has to wait until he's done. Right there, she crossed the line and got too close for Tipton's comfort and got told to back off. Andrew in the front. Even though Tipton is preoccupied, the puppy still does not go to take the toy because she's respecting the boundary she was told. A foot on something is claiming it. And this puppy already knows this and backs up a little bit and Tipton gets still and gives her a little side eye. She decides against trying to take the toy from him and walks away. On it means I own it. She's gonna be respectful and get her ball again. Tipton goes after the toy, but then stops. Why doesn't he take the toy? I always wondered if he understands I threw it for the puppy. You're a nice boy. So I'm working in the yard, and these two think they found a prize. So 
we're kind of playing but discussing who gets possession of this prize gutter guard gutter pipe thing but as you can see the puppy thinks she wants it <laughs> luckily i'm not actually using that for a gutter <laughs> Puppy has already has already been told that she can't have it. So the puppy is not allowed to have prize resources, at least not yet. When they're done playing, then the puppy will be allowed to have it. So a good part of teaching dogs in the house is just simply about controlling resources and not giving hey stop turning that up and not giving them all of the resources I go and take a resource from my dog Chardonnay by doing the same action that dogs do which is placing my foot on top of the resource that I want I do not recommend you do this if you have resource guarding problems with your dogs toward you this can be very dangerous if you do. <laughs> tip, tip, snuck in, got a little piece. Let's see, the puppy's going to try and get tipped in's resource. He doesn't feel sorry for her. He's not sharing. Chardonnay is definitely telling her no. Chardonnay is using clear and fair communication to tell the puppy not to bother her prize, and the puppy understands and walks away. But that's the way the dogs work. Again, it's helping this puppy not become spoiled and thinks she owns the whole house. Resources. I hope you enjoy the video and enjoy watching some of the interactions with my dogs and this new puppy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more dog-to-dog -dog interactions like this one.